I guess I'll never dance again, Max. Right when I was Who about to start you? a new life in California. I can't believe you kissed me. So this is how Max gets her revenge on. What? So this is how That's Max okay. gets her revenge on. Yes. So I know I have the best husband husband prince of all the people in the bay. bay. You've been a great everyday Please. hero What? Us. Don't let me die. Right? Who are you? Holy shit, are you cereal? I'm you, dumbass. Or I'm one of many Maxes you've left behind. Can you get me out of here? Oh, so you want help? <laughs> Thought you could control everybody and everything, huh? Twist time around your fingers? I tried to help. I tried to help. I only wanted to do the right thing. No, you only wanted to be popular. And once you got these amazing powers, your big plan was to trick people into thinking you'd give a rat's ass. I do care. I do care. That's why I was trying to make friends. By telling people what they want to hear? <laughs> you were just looking for a shortcut because you can't make friends on your own. That's not true. I have great friends. And I've used my powers for good. Please, stop playing innocent. You're a goddamn hypocrite. You've left a trail of death and suffering behind you. That was not my fault, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare talk about our mom that way. <laughs> <laughs> what about the crap that was your fault? Wait, wait, let me guess. You fucked up time and space for your precious punk Chloe? <laughs> you think she's worth all that? We all are. This isn't about Chloe. Or even me anymore. Gosh. You're so selfless now, Mahatma Max. It's too bad you pissed your power away on high school drama. Chloe does a better job of guilt tripping me than you do. Because you let her bully you. It's called Stockholm Syndrome. But you didn't do that homework, so you'll have to learn the hard way. Like Rachel. <laughs> Just shut up. You're not scaring me anymore. I'd be more worried about Chloe killing us than Jefferson. Max. Do you really think she has any feelings for us? You're just another puppet. Man, you are so stupid. <laughs> I'm embarrassed to have the same name. And someday Chloe will destroy... Oh hell, speak of the devil. Uh-oh. Dude, do not even fuck with her head. She knows what we went through together this week, and you don't. There's no way you can break up our team. This is reality. After five years, you're still Max Caulfield. I am seriously glad to see you. Welcome home, Max. Fasten your seatbelt. What? Eh. Is Chloe I, uh, really? No, it was your birthday last month. This was my real father's camera. I want you to have it. Yes, of course it's cool. Thank you. This camera is so sweet. Now that we got that mushy shit out of the way, I feel like stage diving. Let's thrash this place. Yep, yep, I'm fucking insane in the brain. Let's dance. Shake that bony white ass. Or take my picture with your new camera. This song fucking rules. Can't dance, hippie? Come on. Rock out, girl. Yo, turn it off. Turn it off. You need to hide now. My stepdad will kill me if he finds you here. You were here today, Max. You saved me. I'm still tripping on that. Seeing you after all these years feels like... Destiny. If this is destiny, I hope we can find Rachel. I miss her, Max. What the hell is this? Snowflakes? Or a storm is coming? Max, start from the beginning. Tell me everything.
Let's talk about your superpower. Epic! I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Yeah, look at all those memories with, with her. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also supersized. I don't feel so super. Uh, Max, here, um, let me help you find a place to chill. You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? Train tracks. You saved me again. <gasps> Crazy. I now we're totally this. bonded for life. Since you're the mysterious superhero, I'll be your faithful chauffeur and companion. My powers might not last, Chloe. That's okay. We will. Forever. Yeah, that other Max was just playing tricks with our head. No way, Chloe. I'm so glad you're my partner in crime. As long as you're my partner in time. I might get on the other side of that door before you, Lupin. Too late. The race is on. See you soon. Welcome to my domain. You are magic! I have no clue how the hell you got in there, but you did it, sister. Train. Oh yeah, we saved him from a train as well. Like Max, you better come check out these files. It's not a drawing. Look. Rachel in the dark room. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. No, you are not taking the cozy chair. Max, do your powers include mind reading? Or did you just rewind because I tried to steal the chair? Shit, I'm confused. It's the powers of best friendship. I know how you roll. Cowabunga! Why look, an otter in my water. Oh yeah. Your power is changing everything, Max. Especially you. I can already tell. You're not so chicken shit anymore. Thanks, girlfriend. And you make me feel like I have a reason for still being in Arcadia Bay. Let's call it a draw. I'm gonna freeze my ass off when I get out. You look cute with your hair soaked in chemicals. Hide! Hide! You can't go back to your dorm now. You're a Blackwell fugitive. Crash at my place tonight. Photobomb! Photo hog. It feels like a different world from yesterday. We left a skid mark on Blackwell last night. Wish we could just hang out all morning like we used to. Maybe we should get up. I have to get back to Blackwell soon. That doesn't look even remotely weird. I double dare you. Kiss me now. Damn, you're hardcore, Max. Now I can text Warren and tell him he doesn't stand a chance. Unless he's into girl and girl action. You're such I bet a dork. he is. We could cruise everywhere in this bad boy. Can you see us heading down the coast of Big Sur and beyond? I know. Just daydreaming. That makes me ill that Rachel posed like this for Frank. I wrote him love letters. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? Because she knew how you would react. And she wasn't much of a friend, huh? Just another person who shits all over me. Why does everybody in my life let me down? My dad gets killed, you bail on me for years, my mother gloms on a stepfucker, now Rachel betrays me. Not until I see it first! You know the rules, Dad! Dude, I am so lucky that my father is cool. Max, you are being so fucking strange. You feel okay? Chloe, I am... 
awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> oh god. Oh no. It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are though. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. Whoa, awesome picture. We look so badass in our pirate gear. We should have taken over Arcadia Bay when we had the chance. Listen, Max. My respiratory system is failing, and... Uh, and it's only getting worse. I've heard the doctors talking about it when they thought I was zonked out. So, I know I'm just putting off the inevitable while my parents suffer along, and I will too. This isn't how I want things to end. What? What are you saying? I'm saying that being with you again has been so special. I just wanted to feel like when we were kids running around Arcadia Bay and everything was possible, and you made me feel that way today. I want this time with you to be my last memory. Do you understand? That was such a difficult choice, like, holy crap. Chloe, you're back. I'm just, I'm just, I'm so glad you're here. You sound high, but thanks for the morning grope. Since we were up all night playing CSI Arcadia Bay, I was still spaced out here trying to put all this info together. Yeah, that was actually cool, the investigation part. He wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. This can't be real. These are all... These are all post shots, right? Right? The junkyard! Max, we have to find that spot now! Th then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way! She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please, let's go. Everything that we went through with her. Rachel! No, Rachel, oh, no, no, please, not her! Chloe. <laughs> Rachel, why? I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? What kind of world does this? Who does this? <laughs> Poor Chloe, man. It's a fucked up world indeed. Come on, Max, we're, we're almost, almost there. Almost there. Almost at the lighthouse. Please wake, Please, up. wake up! Max, come on now! Don't worry! Don't worry! We'll be okay! Enter our own body again. Max! Max, can you hear me? Please say something! Go oh, back! I... I must have passed out. Oh, thank God. Don't you ever do that again, okay? I swear. But that nightmare was so real. It was so horrible. The lighthouse. This is my storm. I caused this. I caused all of this. I changed fate and destiny so much that I actually did alter the course of everything. And 
all I really created was just death and destruction! Fuck all that, okay? You were given a power, you didn't ask for it, and you saved me, which had to happen, all of this did, except for what happened to Rachel. But without your power, we wouldn't have found her. Okay, so you're not the goddamn Time Master, but you're Maxine Caulfield. And you're amazing. Max. This is the only way. I, I feel like I took the shot a thousand years ago. God. You... You could use that photo to change everything right back to when you took that picture. All that would take is for me to... To... Fuck that. No. No way. You are my number one priority now. You are all that matters to me. I know. You prove that over and over again. Even though I don't deserve it. I'm so selfish. Not like my mom. Look what she had to give up and live through. And she did. She deserves so much more than to be killed by a storm in a fucking diner. Even my... My stepfather... Deserves her alive. There's so many more people in Arcadia Bay who should live. Way more than me. Don't say that. I won't trade you. You're not trading me. Maybe you've just been delaying my real destiny. Look at how many times I've almost died or actually died around you. Look at what's happened in Arcadia Bay ever since you first saved me. I know I've been selfish, but for once, I think I should accept my fate. Our fate. Chloe. Max, you finally came back to me this week and you did nothing but show me your love and friendship. You made me smile and laugh like I haven't done in years. Wherever I end up after this, in whatever reality, all those moments between us were real. And they'll always be ours. No matter what you choose, I know you'll make the right decision. Chloe, I can't make this choice. No, Max. You're the only one who can. Oh my god, you're kidding me, right? Fuck. <gasps> Holy shit, sacrifice Chloe or sacrifice Arcadia Bay. Oh my god. Like, if you just think about everything that we've done, everything leading up to this moment was sort of just saving Chloe, right? So it feels counterintuitive to then sacrifice Chloe. Fuck it. Screw Arcadia Bay. Chloe, you're it for me. You're too important to me, Chloe. Max, it's time. Not anymore. Always be with you. Forever. The Bay is just slowly being 
devoured by that hurricane. Holy shit, just look at this destruction. Is it really only Chloe and Max left? Thank you, come again. Yeah, I don't think we're ever coming back here. <sighs> wow. <sighs> Holy shit. Well, that was the end. I don't even know what to say right now. I just feel that throughout this entire game the most important thing was always Chloe but just the, the, that meaning of sacrificing entire Arcadia Bay which means every single other person that we've seen throughout this game is dead they're just dead and gone and to just have that choice at the very end either sacrifice Chloe for sort of the greater good which is which was the driving reason behind everything in a sense right I and mean, regardless of how which ending you choose I, I think that you you will get a beautiful ending and I'm, I'm actually gonna I think I'm gonna play the other one too just to show it to everyone as well because I think this ending is beautiful because it just showcases how important they are to each other and sure it's sort of a strange like fuck the rest and everyone else but I don't know just throughout this entire game especially when you were walking through those memories of both Chloe and Max and everything that we've went through throughout all these episodes I think for me that was just a, a very good ending. Well, <laughs> look at the, the options right now. 50-50, you decide to sacrifice Arcadia Bay, the others decided to sacrifice Chloe. David got a scar during the fight, 91%. So you could actually prevent him from getting a scar as well. Uh, David killed Jefferson, David didn't kill Jefferson. So this is obviously dependent on uh, on who you or whether you tell David about Chloe be dying or not. And I, and you know, I, you guys know I screwed that one up. So I'm not sure if I probably would have told him otherwise, but it showed such a, a side of David that we 
haven't seen at all throughout the entire uh, four episodes, I feel. Which is a side of David that... I just feel like deep down inside he does care about people, he does care about others. He just has a horrible way of showing it. And that's... That's causing a lot of people to just misunderstand him as well. <laughs> I was thinking before like, yeah, I'm gonna save everyone. Apparently there was a trucker which I didn't even see. Ivan or even who I didn't see either and then I saved Alyssa and then I saved the fisherman as well. I tried to save as many people as possible. I didn't even see those two people so I failed in that regard. Um, doo -doo -doo. You helped Joyce believe in David again. Wow, a lot of people were still against David. Surprisingly, even even the people that... Because if he kills Jefferson, you sort of see that side of David and then you would help. And then actually less people that saw that happen then also wanted Joyce to believe in David again. I don't know. I just feel like David is overall severely misunderstood and that's, I guess, I don't know. 66%, yeah. It's, it's somewhat understandable, of course. Uh, you told the truth about Rachel to Frank, 63%. I, don't know, I just feel like it's the best thing to do in that situation. Just tell everyone the truth anyway and a 62% kissed ward off oh, fucking course of course 10% didn't show any how could you how can you not show any affection to her at least freaking hug him that's what I was, that's what I'm saying 28% but yeah that was episode 5 dang wait that was chrysalis that was the last one. Oh, the first one rather so yeah this was a uh, holy crap this was the entire game basically that was life is strange that was episode 5 the finale of the entire series dang oh, what a series it was holy crap to me this game has just been absolutely amazing I think I'm just gonna end things here because I Otherwise, I feel like I'm gonna go on a huge rant again about uh, about the game in general, because obviously no game is perfect. But I've I've enjoyed playing through this, and I, I'm, maybe I'm just gonna do a separate video again or another one, just solely talking about. Cause this is again one of those games where you just gotta. It's gonna stick with you after I close this game and it's, I'm gonna start thinking about it and then just the day after you just have this sudden clarity over that amount of time where you just think like yeah that is how I feel about everything so holy crap but this game has been absolutely amazing and I hope you guys enjoyed watching it as well and I want to thank you all so very much for watching um to all those that just watched this from the beginning you guys are freaking awesome and yeah holy crap so yeah um i'm gonna end this video here but there's gonna be a video after this where i showcase the other ending and so that way people can sort of have peace even if they, i didn't really make the choice that they wanted me to make like some people it's it's just all about preference right for me the journey with chloe had more significant meaning than, than the rest of uh, Arcadia Bay in and of itself but even through watching me play it I can understand if people sort of felt differently about that so I'm gonna give everybody what they want so you can have both pieces of cake you know both sides of the spectrum so yeah I'm gonna showcase the other ending now so I want to thank you all so very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the next video. By the way, blah, blah, blah. before I end this, Tales of the Borderlands is going to be starting tomorrow as well. The fifth episode as well. The ending episode of that. So going to be playing through that. That game has been an absolute joy for me to play as well. And yeah, I hope you guys will tune in to watch that. So yeah, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe for more. And I'll see you guys later. Peace.